Two. You call that there a you weapon? Go. Might as well use a. Sub. I feel wild today. I won't bite. Unless we negotiate that in advance. Oh, yes, I'm thoroughly aroused. If Welcome back to Let's Play Fable 3, oh, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Burning Dog Face. And we're here in Bower Stone's old quarter. Which is a rather comfortable looking neighborhood. With quite a few gnomes in it. Oh, you gave me huh. quite a scare there. Oh, well, then this is gonna suck. You made me jump. It's Marmite's birthday this week. Today oh, we are going to uh, continue putting off our important missions. In exchange for uh, some, so come on, I can end. Bet you won't find a better deal than here in my shop. Somewhat pointless quests. I have power stones. Oh my God! All of you, shut up. Oh, hello. You I uh, thought I would use that guy over there as a way to demonstrate one of the things I don't like about Fable. A generous benefits package and a complete Obviously, good. he's not going to repeat the speech. This guy has been buying up a random struggling artist's paintings for years as part of a long reaching plan that he wants uh, me to help him with, in which I murder the guy. Because if an artist meets an unfortunate end, suddenly his paintings become worth a shitload of money. So, how say you? You know, so obviously, if I if I wanted to be evil, I could take the quest and go murder the guy for him. But that's it. That's what you need the thing I don't like price. about Fable, uh, you know, the well, big moral choices in the plot line we generally have, have a uh, have a Bowerstone. counterpart. You know, you can have a good or evil decision. But uh, a lot of the quests are either you do them and it's either good and it's good or evil or you just ignore them you know there's no option for me to go you know tell thomas cadekin that that dude wants him dead that's not that odd ah hello sup jasper let's see Oh, awesome. How did I know that wouldn't end well? I was actually interested in this The Silver Pines Curse uh, quest. That's the fucking name. Uh, if I understood it, well, I read some uh, stuff yesterday. I think the Hunter's Lodge and the clothes inside of it, as well as this uh, specific quest here. Uh, when the game originally came out on the Xbox, these were uh, strictly for the collector's edition, the limited edition, or whatever you would call it. But since the PC game came out uh, about a year later, uh, they just threw it in anyway. Sort of like how uh, the two years delayed PC version of Alan Wake just automatically comes with the two DLC chapters they released for it. Before we get to those two ghostly idiots, let's find out what this is. What the hell? That was a new one. An evil presence. I think that was a new one. Oh dear. It's going to be a busy day. Beard! Ah, yes, the crime of trespassing. Because I lingered on the dude's uh, workplace for like a minute to talk to him. I don't think I like this place. Shit. 
Holy mother! Look at them all! Did you not understand? Part of keep hitting them with your hammer until they stop moving. Did you not understand? I don't know why I'm doing this. The shiny lights told me to do it. The skull of a large wolf. Who goes there? Is that you, Captain? Uh. No. You must be one of the new recruits. Watch your back. The captain's already had Seth killed. He can't be trusted. But we must still follow orders. And these are yours, soldier. Place the skull you found on the altar at the burial ground. It's the only way. You understand? The only way. Nasty. What in the fuck? Feels like I sort of jumped into the middle of a quest there. But I know that was the first step because it was the one on my uh, quest tracker. If I, you know, if uh, there had been a dude to provide exposition, fuck! Oh, that's great. That's just fucking great. Oh, man. Is it the skull? Because I just found that. You can have that if you want it. Ah! Uh. Oh god, my face! Oh. I hate it when they do that. God damn! Oh shit, I forgot I could do that. Huh. Right, let's take a look at me. Yes, uh... I believe as of Fable 2, you don't actually die when your health runs out. The idea in that game was that you fall down and get, uh... Hello? The idea in that game was that you fall down, get knocked out, and the uh, bad guys beat you silly, so that you wake up alive. This is where they shot Seth, poor little bugger. He was always loyal, right to the end. He didn't deserve to die. But the captain gave the order, and we followed it. That's what we do. We follow orders. Yeah. Yeah, you wake up with a new scar on you somewhere. I don't actually know whether they do that in this one. As I was starting to say before I got interrupted by, uh... Horrid monsters of the night. The, uh. If there had been a dude to start the quest and provide exposition, the first step of the quest would have been go talk to this guy, not, uh, go open this tomb. So Seth was the dog, was he? I don't like the looks of this place. Oh, that's not a chest. That's a... 
thrown. It's generally a bad sign. What the hell? It's broke our nose where it really shouldn't go. If I had to guess, at some point I will have to fight dudes in this little uh, surrounding bit while a dude sits in the throne and watches. That's generally how these things go. This is a weird day. Hello? Son of a bitch. Have you checked the sanctuary shop recently? The armory is at your disposal. The game came out two years ago, Jasper. There's nothing new. With a rifle, a skilled shooter can hit targets at significant range and inflict considerable damage. Hammers are slower to swing than swords, but they do accomplish quite a bit more flattening. Oh, okay. You know, no, no, they're evil after all. Fuck. Ow, my face. I need that to do stuff. What is this place? Oh, hey. Where the hell did you come from? Hey, you get my away from my dog. Oh. This must be the altar. Pagan ritual away. This is messed up. Oh right, there's those guys around. Should probably get the bone sanctuary. smasher back out. The armory is at your disposal. Rifles are slower to fire than pistols, but can be used to engage targets at much greater range. I want to try something. You have gained several that. trophies since you were in last. Most impressive. I don't remember that one. Each of these trophies represents a significant achievement, though they're different from achievements. I'll try to stick to more consistent terminology. <laughs> So here's a useless fact. The eyes of a hollow man glow different colors depending on whether they're holding a melee weapon or a ranged weapon. What? Oh. He's got blue eyes and he's carrying a rifle. I have to wonder how many of these are inside jokes. Jeremy Texier. See, that doesn't make a lick of sense. And considering this is the third one of these games these guys have made, and both of them had plentiful tombstones in them, there must be a lot of friends of Lionhead. 
Oh, I don't like this at all. Hey, there's people down here. They're alive and not trying to murder me. You're sure to find something. Hey, those still exist. Whoa! I can't remember yeah. if there was an item that, uh... Yes, made you gooder. <laughs> gooder. Oh, yes. Need any help today? I remember tofu makes you skinnier. Just browsing. Think about puppies. Let's see. Slowly, slowly crushing them. Yippee! Greetings, merchant type person. My favorite. What do you want to say? Uh. <laughs> eh, he's stuck in the world geometry, but that's okay. We don't judge. Uh, if I go in here, does that number disappear? I don't want to run around in here for no reason, as much as I might give that impression. Alright. Never mind, there's no reason to be in here at all. Where's that noise again? Okay, how much do I remember? Uh, steak uh, in used to increase your uh, strength experience. It's going to be one of those things that reads itself to me, so I'll finish this thought first for a change. You, must. you know, because red meat is good for your muscles. Uh, carrots uh, increase your skill uh, experience. Because the old wives' tale that carrots are good for your eyesight, and you need good eyesight to be accurate with a ranged weapon. And I think fish gave you uh, will experience, because fish is brain food. No chicken kicking today. It's a wonderful activity for boys. Well, that's not creepy at all. Besides a mate willing to let you hit it, is a pair of boxing gloves. Uh, these can be purchased from a leather craftsman or stolen out of the locker of a boy you don't like. Uh, the idea behind boxing gloves is twofold. To protect the boxer's hands, and to minimize injury to the opponent. At least, that's what you should tell your mum when you ask her to buy them for you. She'll think you sound very mature. Now, be sure to use that word twofold as well. That will really impress her. Anyway, the real point of boxing gloves is they allow you to hide large heavy metal weights, which will really knock your opponent's lights out. That will teach him. Right, cheers. I think this book it uh, belongs in a fire more than it belongs in a library, but if you say so. <laughs> Sup, ghost type person? Trying to dive, it's not doing anything. There we go. Wolf legs, a leg Wasn't bones. My fault. Couldn't disobey a direct order, could I? The captain made me do it. The Sheik was my friend. He was my only friend. Sorry, Sheik. 
I'm so sorry. Huh. Let's go this way. Actually, fuck it. I will kill this monster. Oh god. He has friends. They always have friends. Why don't I have friends? This is ending poorly. Ah! Fuck. Fuck! Now I do have friends. Huh, those guys are hobs now. They used to be beetles. Stop dodging out of the way, it's very annoying. You know what, if they can get him... Alright. I'm Burning Dog Vase, and this has been another exciting episode of Let's Play Fable 3. I'll see you next time. Later.